The debate on which brand makes the best grills between Weber and Char Broil will not end anytime soon as each has its fair share of diehard fanatics. So, let's begin. Number 1. Total Cooking Space Few brands out there can outperform Weber when it comes to the total cooking area that you get on their grills as they seem to prioritize this at LOT. Even their Spirit 2 E210 will come with a massive total cooking area despite being in what grillers will consider an entry-level category. The grill offers a total of 450 square inches which is 360 square inches for the primary area and a 90-inch warming rack. Number 2. Heat Output Given the larger cooking area, Weber also makes sure that the grill will be adequately heated by using more powerful burners that deliver relatively higher heat output. The two burners on the Spirit 2 E210 provide a combined heat output of 26,500 BTU per hour which means each burner will deliver at least 13,250 BTU which for an entry-level grill model is fantastic. With the Performance 300, you also get two burners with each producing 12,000 BTU to give the grill a total heat output of 24,000 BTU per hour. Number 3. Cart Design While the design of the cart does not necessarily affect how the grill performs, it will have a significant impact on the convenience and ease of using it, and so it also matters a LOT. With the Weber grill, you will get an open cart design which for many grillers comes with a huge advantage as it will allow for easy access to the vital things you need when grilling and hence reducing time wastage. For the Char Broil grill, you will get a closed cabinet cart design which besides being more aesthetically appealing makes it easy to organize your grilling essentials. Number 4. Weight. Given that these are smaller and more compact grills, they will both be quite lightweight, and you should not expect them to weigh hundreds of pounds like the mid- and high-tier models. However, the weight still differs significantly despite their obvious similarity. The Spirit 2 E210 is the heavier of the two models as it weighs 103 pounds while the Performance 300 will weigh around 66 pounds. It is important to note that the extra weight is not necessarily a bad thing when it comes to grills. Number 5. Wheels. You will hardly find any griller that uses their grill from one point or always has it in one place unless it is the built-in types that cannot be moved. Hence, when buying a grill you need to consider how portable it is, and the kind of wheels it includes is a good indication of this. Weber gives their grill a pair of all-weather wheels which are designed to move smoothly through the roughest terrain and hence making it possible to move the grill with ease regardless of where you might be using it. Number 6. Warranty. Unless you have used several grills from both Weber and Char Broil, there is no way to tell which brand will give you the longest service life. But, a good warranty can be a good indication of this. If the length of the warranty was your only consideration when choosing between Spirit 2 E210 and Performance 300, then the former would easily take the day. And this is because it comes with a 10-year warranty which is way much longer than the 1-year warranty you get from Char Broil.